how you said like we we joked about how uh people say don't do me like Boosie did you. Um, well, I guess for the people that don't know exactly, can you explain what happened with the, you and Boosie? Yeah. So um, so like I said, I'm already going viral. I'm doing different celebrities. You feel me? I already did Timberland. I didn't did Damian Lillard. I I'm doing going crazy. So. All of my videos that I did with different celebrities, they actually either approached me or their manager approached me or I approached them and they was like, yeah, let's do a video. This <clears> particular <throat> time, Boosie had a movie that was premiering with my my boy. Shout out to um, Million Million Dollar Key. They was doing a video together. He from like out I here. Know, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's my dude. But he hit, he hit me up. He was like, bro, I'm doing a movie premiere. I want you to be My Million my... Dollar Key from Baltimore, I think. Yeah, he he probably is, but he was out here yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, my yeah. bad. You yeah, know, yeah. he is. I think yeah. he is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so anyway, they, him and Boosie had a movie yep. with like Rich Homie Quan. Yep. They had a movie premiere. You feel me? Out here. So I drove out here to come to it. And then my boy ATM, that's a uh, Boosie manager. You know what I'm saying? He was like, bro. He's like, Boosie having a birthday party after the movie premiere. I want you to pull up. He's like, don't say nothing. We're going to set it up to, we're going to have you do a skit. you just going to knock on the door. We want it organic. We don't even want you to tell him. You feel me? Because we want to see how his face going to look. But anyway, ATM never came. You feel me? Oh, so I'm calling him, though. And he, he thinking like it's set up. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out because I'm seeing Boosie. He like occupied because he it's his party. He hosting it. He partying, having a good time. So there's one particular time I caught him and I'm like, bro, I'm about to just ask him. He was like, no, I just knock on the door. So I knocked on the door and then I walk right in and try to sell him and he wasn't having it. He was like, what? No, you got to pay me. You know what I'm saying? And then they, people seen a clip. And then after that, man. It's crazy because like um, as unfortunate as it is, I understand because people like, like, and no disrespect, but people like Boosie, who's not still making like music or going on tours and things like that, a lot of his money come from like, um, like, uh, promo, promo, and and yeah, yeah. interviews no, and shit no, like that. No, so yeah. I understand, no, right? Like, man, you probably don't bro, that want to hear that even more. I mean, no, I, bro, I'm a businessman. I've been like this since 12 years old. So I didn't even get mad. What I did is that I got motivated. Mm. I got more hungry. I said, now nah, I got to really turn all the way up because mm. the next time he see me, he going to want to do a video. Cause I'm pretty sure I seen him do a video with Desi Banks, DC Young Fly. I'm like, I've been viral before them, but they've been way more consistent than me. Mm. He ain't pay. You I know, you yeah, know yeah. he ain't say you got to pay me to do it. That just motivated me to keep going, oh, wow. bro. You got to understand. I remember I went on Drewski. I'm gonna tell you a little story about Drewski, and I messed with Drewski. I went on could have been record thing like my boy Jack Funny, and I went on there and he turned me down and he was acting like he ain't know who I was or nothing. Then I just seen him at the BT where he's like, bro, you going crazy? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, I was just on could have been. He's like, you was. So people look over you because you ain't really. But when I start doing 15, 20 videos a week and I'm in everybody's face, now they like, you feel me? You get what I'm trying to say? Because mm -hmm. that's like even a little baby situation, bro. I met little baby like two times before. He's like, bro, I'm a fan of you. And I'm looking at like, bro, I remember one time, like, I was in the store. I pulled out my phone and one of his boys like tried to smack the phone on my hand. They thought I was trying to record him. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then like, it was just like, we was in LA though. You feel me? And I like, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't even, he ain't even know I was a dude that like, clean, you know what I'm saying? It's just that like, people don't really know. You so you don't never take like none of it personal? Cause some no. I be. Bro, I've been like, we, bro. We still hear me. We got feelings. You know why? Because I got tough skin. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I know how to fake it till I make it. And at the end of the day, I done knocked on racist people's door where they was like, get off my porch, nigger. I said, where that nigga at? You owe me $5. Mm. And they bust out laughing and bought my product. So I already know when I'm in Rome, do as a Rome. It's like, I, and then I ain't go, to, just because a person nasty or they overlook me, I'm not going to overlook nobody. I ain't go, you know what I mean? That's why I get my blessings because I don't shit on the small people. You feel me? Because nobody's small to me. You know what I'm saying? We all... Got 24 hours in our day. We all put our pants on the same way. Just like the, uh, Wallow said, he said, as soon as you get up and you wake up and God bless you to see another day, you got another opportunity to chase your dream. So why would I try to shit on somebody else for trying to chase their dream mm -hmm. when we all on this earth for one purpose, and that's to be great. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, they don't understand that. No, facts. But from that situation, you said uh, Rich Homie Kwan saw it. Yeah. He saw like, uh, I guess. you. So wait. You posted that video. Was, I'm gonna be honest. After that Boosie incident, that's why I really messed with Rich Homie because I swear to God, he was the first person that reached out to. But wait, so before we get to Rich Homie, so 
Did you still post a video? Yeah, the nigga, oh. his manager, ATM, like, I swear to God, because I, I DM'd him. First time I sent him the video, I was like, it ain't go too well. Because he wasn't there. Remember I told you, yeah. he was like, because he's like from like Dallas. He's somewhere in Texas. He was like, dang, man, I ain't going to be able to make it. He was like, but still try to get the video. I was like, all right, bet. But he was like a super fan. He was like, bro, I've been watching you a hustler. He was like, Boosie going to respect you too, because he a hustler too. Because like, even like when I met Rick Ross, two chains, a lot of the hustlers, they respect other hustlers. They even told me, like, bro, you just, you one of a kind, bro. You got your own lane. And that's what I like about you with your content. So I'm thinking, like, like he gonna respect the hustle. He gonna like you know what I'm saying. But when I sent ATM his manager the video, cause I was like, bro, it ain't go too well. He said you gotta post this. This gonna really go. He was mm -hmm. like this. He was like this. All you need. Yeah. He was like, and this his manager saying that. You feel me? He wasn't saying it to make me Boosie look bad. It's to show like nigga, this about to go viral cause you never got turned down on your video. This the this the most organic shit you ever done. Mm. The first video that I ever did that generated the most views of my whole career had almost a billion views cause it was organic. I didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I want to go viral and knocked on a lady door that was racist and she recorded me. I was really doing my my job that I really love to do, you feel me? Because I eat, sleep, and drink it. And the years later, look, the whole world love me. You feel me? I got people that like real A-list celebrities don't even want to say their name, but they be like, bro, you inspire me. And I'm looking like, damn. Mm. I remember when I first met Chief Keith, he was like, bro, you know why I mess with you? He was like, cause you make killers laugh. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? This person that I looked up when I like when I just got FaceTime with Meek Mills, I just told him, like, bro. I was down there about to cry because I'm like, bro, you like you was a big inspiration part of when I was homeless going door to door, mm -hmm. listening to Dreams of Nightmare. Now I'm on FaceTime with you. You know what I'm saying? No, that shit don't happen every day. You feel no, me? To be yeah. in these rooms with these people just for me loving my job. Bro, I was just at the BET Awards. Two chains reached out like, bro, huh, I'm going to put you on my video. Mm. On my set. Bro, I remember we used to hit the TV to fucking... Make the TV come on to watch the BET Awards. I'm right here front row watching the BET, a little kid from Detroit, Michigan, that just believed in himself because his grandma knew, saw so many that the world didn't see. Now the world starting to see it. You feel me? Mm. And, and that's motivational because it's, you never know. It's crazy how, like, something that may seem like a negative is a positive. Like, Boosie right. saying that, right? Yeah. That could that could discourage somebody making want to yeah. quit and not, not do but nothing Boosie, else. Boosie, I understand him. He, a big, yeah. he got a lot of but kids, I'm saying, but, even, but that video See, people, that's because that's, that's, that's on the outside looking out. And that really made me grind even more. I said, yes. That's why everybody that, like, look, like, like I just told you with the Detroit rappers, bro. You feel me? I'm going to all of these. I'm like, boom, let me do a video. Let me, because I'm a hustler, bro. I ain't trying to do it for no money. This is what I love to do. I love making content because this is me. This is me. You feel me? And it was like, I understand you busy. I understand this, that. But little baby looked at it like, bro, why you ain't asking me? I'm a fan. Mm. And did the video in front of all of them. You feel me? Yeah. I didn't get discouraged and get mad at them. Like, oh, I don't mess with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I still do a video. But at the moment, I was like upset because I'm like, damn, this is my, my city. city. We supposed yeah. to put each other on. We supposed to help each other out. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't get discouraged to be like, I don't mess with them no more. I still didn't download everybody album that was out there that day. You feel me? Yeah. Still rock with their music. Still support them because I, like, I'm like i one within and, and I know my purpose on this earth. You feel me? And I know that I got millions of people that smile every day and can look up to me and be like, you know what? If he can make it, I can make it. Mm. If he made it out the hood where well, you don't got to go shoot nobody, you ain't got to rob nobody, you ain't got to steal, you ain't got to kill, you ain't got to sin and you out here chasing your dream, I can do the same thing. You feel no, me? Thanks. And it's all from social media. So that's why social media be like the gift and the curse. But most of my content I'm putting out, I'm trying to inspire that little kid that just lost their mama mm. that probably don't want to live today. I'm trying to inspire that little kid that, you know what I'm saying, that he don't got, he in a shelter right now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And he hopeful. He hopeless. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what his next meal going to be. You feel me? Because I was one of them kids. I was one of them kids that didn't know how my next meal. And my mama, she worked her butt off. She worked two, like she worked eight days a week, had two jobs, provided everything for us. But it's we like when we when we was younger, it's we wanted to get well, certain food. We wanted McDonald's every day, a Burger King every day. My mama couldn't afford it. We wanted Jordans and you know what I'm saying? Like we grew up like we used to get clothes from a good fella box. You know what I'm saying? People don't know about focus, hope food. You know what I'm saying? You making peanut butter and a bread. Tearing up, you feel me? To make we eating beef stew every day and fucking salmon correct. Like people don't know about that. My kids don't know about that struggle. You feel me? Mm. We used to go to schools just to get free lunch because nice. we couldn't eat in the morning. Yeah, we would nice. go to church, nigga. I play hockey. I, one of my favorite sayings is that you know why black people don't play hockey because we already skating on thin ice. I used to go to ice hockey in Detroit just to get free lunch, my nigga. Mm. Mm. No, that's a fact. That's crazy. That's crazy. So wait, I want to ask you this. Hold up. So you post the Boosie thing, that go crazy. 
Rich Homie Quan reach out to you. Like, yeah, the next day. I sort of got, I'll show you the DM. Now I'm down there about to cry, bro, because it's like, like that, like when he, like, that's what I said, when he passed, though, he was like a real dude because, like, he reached out and he was like, bro, I mess with your videos. And, like, I seen him. It's like I drove straight to Atlanta. I swear to God. Like, when somebody, and I met him at Lennox Mall. We was at Lennox Mall and we chopped it up. And then he sent me his location. And then I pulled up on him and we chopped it up for like an hour, two hours before we even did a video. He's like, bro, I mess with your videos. And we just was chopping it up. You feel me? I met his brother, Dre, and we just was talking. And then after that, we just, we did the video. But everybody else I did a video with, I ain't do that with them. Mm -hmm. We just did a video. It was one and done. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I, if I bump it to you again, that's a blessing. But if not, we just did a video. It was like business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like with certain. But he was like the first person that reached out, and I was like, "Damn, that's crazy." You know what I'm saying? Because even when that happened, I was getting like people was they was talking crazy. Like, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? They was tripping. But with Boosie, people weren't tripping. Boosie wouldn't even trip. I just seen them at Rick Ross and even stopped the car. And his people, they was like, "That go to do right." And he smiled at me like, you know what I'm saying? So I could tell he was like, you know what I'm saying? Now nah, he like. And it's like, I'm telling you, I know for sure without a shot of a doubt, he probably saw me more because that's how my mindset was. I was like, watch, I'm about to make him see me every day after this. He going to see me so much. The next time he he he, he see me, he going to probably feel bad that he ain't even do a video with me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because that's how I look at it. One thing my mentor taught me, and shout out to Donald Davis, he taught me the best revenge is master success. You yep, know what I'm saying? 100%. So that I don't even get mad. So when you posted it, did that, that, that went viral, I'm assuming. Yeah, I posted it because his team told me to post yeah, it. But that it went viral. joke went crazy. Yeah. Everywhere. World Star, everybody posted it. So Rich Homie Kwan, like, yo, he hit you, he felt bad or he just, because it's I don't it know, he just saw crazy. this video and he was like, bro, he just, he told me, he was like, bro, I, he was like, I love your content. I've been watching you for a minute. He was like, he then he asked, he was like, was that real? I was like, yeah. And he was like, man, that's crazy. He's like, man, he was like, he was like, man, I want to do a video. I'm a fan. He was like, I ain't gonna do that though. He was like, but let's do one. You feel mm. me? And then we did it and it went crazy. It went like, crazy. It hit like three million in like a week. You Sheesh. feel me? Then World Star, everybody posted that. It went super crazy. What the hell? Is this you selling them? The yeah, I just went to his house and then I pitched him and then yeah, he went crazy. Sheesh. 